Hey, what's up everybody? Abbas here from Goldwyn Motor. Today we're doing an instructional on another display. Uh, today we're covering the DPC-18. So to get started, hold down the power button for a few seconds. Power on. And so that's your home screen on your DPC-18. As you can see, it is a full color LCD display. The dimensions are 3.8 by 2.5 inches. Uh, the DPC-18 comes with a five button keypad. The plus button, the minus button, the backlight button, the I button, and the power button. On the top right is your time. On the top left is your battery indicator. In the middle is a speedometer. On the outside, it shows you your power that you're using. Um, you can set that either in amps or watts. And I'll show you how to change that in a second. At the bottom, there are some options. So you can cycle through those by pressing the I button. So your first option is trip. Um, if I want to cycle through that, press the I button. Second one is odometer. Third one is your maximum speed. Fourth one, average speed. Fifth one, range. Uh, next one is calories. And lastly, the last one is time. At the bottom over here is your pedal assist level. It goes as high as nine, and then it goes all the way down to zero. Zero basically means if you're pedaling, your motor will not kick on to assist you. Even if you press the throttle, which I'm doing right now, the motor is not gonna go on. If you put it in any pedal assist, and then you press the throttle, it should go, and then break it. Um, Another cool feature about this display is that if you go to range, um, it will tell you your range based on your pedal assist level. So right now it's at three, it's saying the range I have is 46 kilometers. If I go higher on my pedal assist level, the range should go down as it did. And then if I go down, the range should go up. So perfect. Another cool feature about this DPC-18 is it has a USB port, charging port. It's perfect for a small device like a phone. I usually keep my phone over here and I keep it charged. Uh, it won't work for large devices like a light. If you wanted to adjust the backlight level, you just hold down the backlight button for a few seconds and you see that icon popped up over there. I'm just gonna turn it back off. And then finally, if you hold down the minus button on your keypad, it's gonna engage walk mode. So if you're going up a hill or you're tired, uh, your motor will kick on like a comfortable pace where you can walk with you. Um, and then the way to turn it off is just let go of the minus button and then it'll kick off. So to go into the menu options, you double tap the I button and then it gives you three options, display setting, information or exit. I want to go into display setting, so I'm going to press the I button one more time. So here are your options right here. Uh, your first option is for unit. You have a choice between metric or imperial. So to change any of these right here, what you would do is press the I button and then when it highlights it over here, you press the um, plus or minus button. Um, so it gives me an option of imperial or metric, depending if I want to see my speed on the home screen in kilometers or miles. I'm just going to leave it in metric. And then to save your um, choice, just press the I button and it saves it. So the next option is your brightness level. So the third option on here is the auto off. This is basically means that you want your display and your motor to turn off after how many minutes of inactivity. So you have an option to go all the way up to nine minutes or you can actually turn um, this uh, screen off. Your next option is your maximum pedal assist level or PAS. So as you saw before, mine was set as maximum nine, but you have an option to change this from five or three. So you can have your maximum pedal assist set at three if you want. Um, I'm just going to leave it at nine. Your next option is your power view. So depending on how you would like um, the power to be set on your home screen, as you saw before, mine was set as amps. So that's current. You can set that to power, which would show your power as watts. So the next option on this screen is your SOC view. That is basically your uh, battery indicator on the home screen. You have an option to see it either in voltage or percentage. 
Um, most people just keep it in voltage because it's more accurate. So I'm just gonna leave it on voltage also and save it with the I button. And by the way, if you ever wanna go back to your home screen, you don't have to scroll down all the way to back. All you do is press double tap the I button and it'll take you back to the home screen. So that's where the battery indicator is. So let me go back in there, display settings. So your next option is your trip reset. So as you remember on the home screen, these uh, options over here. So if you wanna reset your trip values, that's where you would go in the display setting and change it. So you would go and change that to yes. And then once you press the um, I button on here, it's gonna clear it. The next option on the screen is your wheel size. So you should adjust that based on your own bike. I should change that because I'm riding a 26 inch. So go down and save it by pressing the I button. So that's saved now. Next option is the speed limit. Uh, the option after that is your AL sensitivity. So that's basically the backlight sensitivity. Uh, next option is the password. So if you wanna set a password for every time when you start the display, it'll ask you for a password but make sure you remember your password though. And the last option on this screen is to set your clock. So if you go in and this is where you can adjust your time. Let's go back. Second option on this screen was information. So let's go in there. Um, over here, you can set your battery information, but currently this information is not available. Hopefully soon. Uh, let's go back and lastly, this screen right here, it shows you your last 10 error codes, so it makes it easier to diagnose. Let's go back. So that's it folks, uh, that is your DPC-18 display by Bafang. Hope this information was helpful. Until next time, see you guys later.